Hi guys, I'm Rival. Welcome back to another PHP tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at two new features that PHP 7 brought us. Their names are scalar type declarations, as you can see here is the first listed feature in the PHP manual. Scroll down a bit. And the next one is return type declarations. So these are the two features we're going to be looking at in PHP 7. So I've got PHP Storm open here just a simple index.php file. So let's start exploring these new features. So let's take a simple function that says print types. Okay, and we can have a name and an age. And then we'll say echo get type. Actually, first, let's do this. We'll say param1, and we'll say get type of name, and on a new line, we'll say param2 is actually get type of age. Okay, so what have I missed out? Just a period. Okay, so let's see what happens if we do print types and for name purposes, we can just put my name, Rival Gavinder, and we can put an age of 28. Okay, so we're passing in a string and we're passing in an integer. Okay, so this is the first kind of iteration or implementation, should we say, of um, scalar type declarations. There's three types. One is not showing it at all, and that's probably what you're used to with PHP 5. We don't actually have anything here. We could do like classes or interfaces, but specifically, we couldn't say if it was a string, Boolean, um, a float, or uh, an integer. So. Right now, PHP is not going to do anything. It's just going to output exactly what you have put in here. So let's look at the terminal. And if we run that, we have string and integer, exactly what we expected. So back to Storm. Now let's actually put in, well, we know that's going to be a string. And we know that's going to be an integer. That's what we want the method to accept. Okay, now this is the second type where it's coercively enforcing the, the scalar type. So if we had to go back to here, we're going to have string and integer exactly because that's what we're putting in. That's what the method accepts as well. But if we had to go back into storm and change this to a string of 28, what's going to happen now? So we have string and we still have an integer. So even though we've passed an in, uh, a string here, PHP has saying, okay, this method actually expects or needs an integer. So I'm going to convert whatever you give me into an integer. So here you go. So that's another way of doing it. And now the final way of doing it is using a declare. You can put strict types equal to one. So now you can see it's already PHP Storm's already saying parameter is expected to be int, but a string is given. So now what we're saying is we want to be strict and we want PHP to kick up a fuss if we give it the give the method the wrong type of value. So now we go back to our terminal and if we run it again, uh oh, PHP fatal error, argument two passed to print types must be of type integer. So and then string given. So that's great. This is what we kind of wanted in PHP. Um, you might think, why would we want this sort of things? And I'll tell you why. It's for great code, debugging purposes, um, to prevent your code from failing. Th there's so many options here. It's, it's giving PHP a better reputation as well because people love to uh, people love to say PHP is a bad coding language. It actually isn't. If you were going to write bad code, it does allow you to write bad code, 
And you, if you do write bad code, then yes, your code is going to be bad. But if you're a good developer who knows what they're doing and you are striving to write the best code possible, then you can write good code with PHP. But uh, people just don't like it because PHP doesn't enforce you to do it. And that's understandable. So now with these strict types, we can say, okay, we only want a string, and we only want an int. And this sort of prevents any issues down the line where if we have something in here, like um, another method being called and it depends on a string, at least we know that for sure we are going to pass a string to it. Like I said, it helps in debugging when you're reading someone's code. It's also much easier to understand. And like I've mentioned before on this channel, as a developer, you want to make sure that your code is very easy to read for the next developer. It's very easy to maintain for the next developer as well as yourself because there may be times where you'll write this code, it works, and you won't come back to it for another six months and you may forget exactly what it does. So you want to be as clear as possible. So um, that includes doc blocks or something similar like that. So at least you can say, like before we could say this, we could say string and int to at least give the developer a little bit more of a hint, but we couldn't enforce this in our method. So that is the scalar declaration types. So let's take a look at return types now. So we know that this very simple method print types is returning nothing at the moment. But if we did this, return and we went down here and said echo there instead we know that this method is returning a string so what we can do now with php 7 is say string we can say this method is going to return a string so php storm is clever enough as well to pick that up and say string as well so we'll just get rid of that for now just to avoid any confusion and let's do an experiment here let's not include the declare strict types so now let's see what happens in our terminal. So we'll just clear that. And it's still fine, string integer. If we put our declare back, and now with that it says, argument two past print times must be of type integer because of before. So we'll remove that. And we'll go back and we'll run it again and we're still getting it. And that's good because our method is returning, is returning a string. So now let's say for argument's sake, we have a conditional here and saying, uh, if get type of name, um, one, two, three is equal to a string, return false. We just do that. So now what I'm doing here is that I'm just putting a conditional to say if, if the type string is return false, I'm trying to break this method on purpose. You can see PHP Storm is already complaining and saying this method, um, the, the return value must always be a string. And over here, we're returning a bool. So if we go to our terminal and we run PHP, what we'll have what we'll see is uncaught type error return value of print types must be of type string so back to storm and that's perfect that's exactly what we want we saying string now let's do another experiment we'll remove that and we'll go back here and we'll run it and it does accept it so if you want to enforce these methods uh, enforce these um, declarations you have to have to declare strict types so yeah, so I hope that gives you a bit more of an insight into how these uh, declaration types work. Um, I hope you understand that how much this is going to benefit you. It's going to benefit you in writing code. It's going to benefit your code for the future, debugging, etc. So this is a good feature from PHP 7. It's something we've been waiting for. And now I hope you know how to use it. So thanks for watching, guys. If this helped, let me know in the comments below. And remember to hit that subscribe button.